Mount Rushmore, and Crazy Horse Memorial, The Adventure Travelers. The four presidents, Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, and Lincoln, were sculpted in solid granite and is 60 feet high. What really fascinated me is the constant care and repairs that this national treasure needs. Because it's natural granite, the snow, extreme temperatures, and rain fractures all do damage. This strong but somewhat fragile monument was completed in 1941. Getting there was easy, and admission is free with a National Park Pass, and it's only 10 bucks to park. It was a little tight getting through the parking gates, but other than that, it was good RV parking. We went off season about April and May, and it was great. There was absolutely nobody there. After seeing the monument, there's not much else to do, so Mike blew up a mountain. The museum was actually very cool. History has it that one of the sculptors from the monument actually went on to carve Crazy Horse. When we were there, late April, there was still snow on the ground, so some of the trails were closed. We only stayed about a half hour. That was a bummer because we were really looking forward to the hikes. Dino wanted to go play in the tailings that can still be seen under the sculpture. <laughs> and he also thought his head would look great on the monument. Definitely go off season to this national monument. I actually thought Crazy Horse was stunning. It was started in 1948. It was commissioned by Henry Standing Bear and to be created by Korczak Jowalski. Today, the family takes care of all construction, museum, and all programs related to this masterpiece. When it's finished, and we don't know when that'll be, it will be the largest sculpture in the entire world. The Indian Museum of North America was outstanding. There is a wonderful video that explains all the aspects of Crazy Horse. The stunning beadwork and artifacts are just absolutely treasures. And I literally got chills around every corner. These Italian glass beads are the same that were used in the 19th century for this type of beadwork. And it's absolutely breathtaking. I literally could have stayed all day. Dina loved the nature gates. It was about $30 for Mike and I, but that includes everything, and it was well worth it. Fees help support this loving project. Oh, and the RV parking was great. We give Mount Rushmore and Crazy Horse Memorial an honest and solid thumbs up. The music on this video can be found at ccmixer.org. Join our journey and subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Adventure Travelers, and click on the green go button. Dino picked out a video for you to watch. See you on YouTube.